Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another modding tutorial. In the last tutorial, I taught you guys how to add a tab to your mod, and I've added that in now, and I'm already using it um, permanently in these tutorials to add my items to. But in this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add tools into this game. So that's going to include pickaxes, shovels, um, axes, hoes, and what's... is there another one? Um... Pickaxes, shovels, axe, sword, and yeah, that's it. Now, I've just cleared my mod class. Um, you can still have all your items and stuff inside these pre-initialization methods if you've watched my previous tutorials. But we're going to be adding in new items, so simply just under all your items and stuff that you got here, just add it under it or something like that. So what we need to do is create a couple of items. So we need to do one for each. So we need to do public, static static item and then this is uh, we're gonna start with pickaxe so we're gonna do a cheese pick cheese pickaxe then we're gonna do another um, item so we need public static item cheese axe and another one public static item cheese shovel another one public static item cheese hoe and then public static item cheese sword now before we actually initialize the items we've got to create a tool material and a tool material is what defines how strong the tools are. So if you guys know in the current in current Minecraft, in the Minecraft, um, diamond is the most powerful material um, so it can mine every breakable block and then uh, we've got iron, we've got gold and then obviously wood is the worst one and this is where we can actually define the power of the tools. So to do this we've got to create a tool material variable. So you want to do this by typing public static final item dot tool material so click enter and then uh, you want to just type in cheese um, cheese tool material or whatever you want to call it and you want to make this equal enum helper dot add tool material and then for the first one you also want to copy that variable here so cheese tool material um, put it inside those quotation marks. Now this could get a little bit confusing because there is a lot of um, a lot of um, arguments that we have to enter here, but it should be pretty easy. Now the second argument here is the harvest level, and what this does is it tells Minecraft what ha what, what harvest level this is, and diamond diamond's harvest level is three. So when it, when you when you go ahead and mine obsidian, it checks what that harvest level is, and if it, if it's three or above, that means that it can actually mine obsidian. If it's not above three, it means that it's just it's gonna break and not drop anything. So I'm gonna make these cheese tools very powerful because I think cheese is a very very strong material. <laughs> not really, but it's yeah, it's gonna be a strong material. So we're gonna make it quite the uh, powerful, we're gonna make it four so it absolutely just goes through anything. Now the next argument is max uses and this is how many times you can mine a block or you can hit a mob with a sword. So um, I think diamond is 1000 and I forgot how much it is, 1561 I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, so we're gonna make this a lot a really powerful too so we're gonna give it 2000 um, 2,000 item uses, so I can mine 2,000 blocks if I want to. The next one is efficiency. Now the next one is efficiency, and this is basically the strength against blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, you have to put in a float variable. So diamond, looking at this um, reference on, on my other screen, diamond is 8.0F. Now, um, that is the, that's the strength of diamond. Iron is uh, 6.0F. 
obviously 6.0F. Stone is 4.0F, so you should be able to get a good idea of how strong each material is, but we're going to make this extremely strong, so we're just going to give it 20.0F. <laughs> it's going to be crazy, it's going to be awesome. It's basically an OP cheese tool. But I don't, if you want to make something legitimate and not OP, um, I don't suggest that you put it over 15 or something like that. But if it is OP, make sure it's very expensive when you actually craft it, and we're going to get into that in the second part of this tutorial. Now the next one is the damage, and we're going to put a float variable in here again. Now diamond damage is 3.0F, and then if we go down one, iron is 2.0F. Stone is 1, and then wood is 0, so you can get a good idea, but we want to make this really strong, so we're going to give it, um, uh, let's think, uh, 5. <laughs> so that's going to be quite um, powerful. Now this last one is the enchantability, and this takes an, um, an integer. Now I'm not exactly sure what this does. But looking at this reference, um, it says that diamond is 10. I'm not exactly sure what it does. I think it might um, mean... Um, let's just have a look. Uh, I don't know. I think it might be used in the calculation when enchanting the item, how like common it is to get a, a good enchantment. So let's think... Um, let's just enter 30. I don't know. I'm just going to enter that for now, and we'll test the enchants once we get it into the game, but um, if it doesn't work properly, then oh well. So there we go, we've created a, our cheese tool material. What we're going to do now is actually start initializing all these items here, and we're going to be creating custom classes for them as well. So it should be pretty straightforward, cheese pickaxe equals new item cheese pickaxe end it off like that and then you want to highlight over it create that new class and then what we're going to do is instead of um, just going to this default package here we'll do dot item so add that dot item to the package name there and click finish now it'll create this new class and what you want to do is change this I extends item to item pick axe and then you want to highlight over it, import it then you'll need to highlight over the title here, add the constructor get rid of that to do auto generated method there and then just ta change this parameter name just to material and then change the one inside the super brackets there to material as well And then what you want to do is pop in this cheese tool material into those brackets there. And is that all we've got to do? Oh. And make sure that it doesn't say what it says. It said protected before. Make sure that it says uh, public there or you won't be able to initialize the item. Now I'll do this one more time and then it should be pretty straightforward for you guys to initialize the rest of these items. So what you want to do is type in your variable, so we'll go onto axe now, equals the new item cheese axe, and then two brackets, semicolon at the end, highlight over item cheese axe, or whatever it is, create class, at the end of the package here do dot item, and then you can click on that now because we've created that package. Click finish, and then change this item to the item that we're actually creating. So we're creating an axe. So you want to put extends item axe. And you could, for the rest of them, do like item hoe, item sword, and stuff like that. So item axe, import that. And then you have to add the constructor. Then change the parameter name, get rid of the to-do method. Um, change the parameter name just to material. And then change the one inside the brackets there. To material. Now you should be able to do this for the rest of them, not that hard. Oh yeah, and also make sure you change that protected to public. And then pop inside your cheesed tool, tool material inside the bracket there, and 
that's basically how you do it. So do that for the rest of them, and I'll just give you a brief overview what it should look like, but you should get the idea. Now just a quick note for shovels, it's, a it's actually item spade, so if you can't seem to actually import it, it's item spade, not item shovel. So item spade, import it, add your method, and so on. So there we go guys, I've traded... So there we go guys, I've initialized all my items and it should end up looking something like this. So we got all the um, items initialized and we got each one going to item cheese, um, then the the tool name here. And then over in the package explorer we've got our package here called item which automatically created when we and added that dot item to the end of the package name. And we got each one in here extending... Um, the tool name, so this one extends item sword, the shovel extends item spade, the pickaxe extends item pickaxe, the hoe extends item hoe, and then the axe extends, should extend item axe. I don't know why that, oh wait, what the heck? Is this the right one? No, I didn't click on it, my bad. Oh yeah, it extends, there we go. So it extends item axe. So there we go, we've initialized all the items, and if we actually went into the game now, um, they would be added, but we're actually going to put them into our creative tab real quickly. So what I want you guys to do now is to set your unlocalized name and also set the texture name. You should know how to do this from watching previous tutorials. If you don't know and you're watching this for the first time, go check out my basic item tutorial mod and that teaches us how to add items and set all that stuff in. Also, you want to add the name of your item in as well. So again, if you just need a quick refresh, it's just set unlocalized name and then put in item cheese pickaxe and then after that do set texture name and then put in your, your mod id dot dot item cheese pickaxe so you want to do that for each one and then obviously put your um, images into your resources over here so into your items folder and then also set your name in the lang file. So I've created some item textures and I'll upload these um, in a zip file for you guys to be able to download and use as a template. But basically um, I've created five textures for each of the items. So we got the axe, the hoe, the pickaxe, the spade and the sword. So we're going to be um, putting them into the game now. You want to make sure they're in your items resource folder. So you pop them into there. Now if you don't actually have the items in your folder, all you can simply do is just highlight over them and then drag them over to here and put them into, or highlight over the items bit here and then drag them into there, click OK and they'll be into your items resource directory. So you should have set the unlocalized name, the texture name and also the um, names in the lang file and we're going to go ahead, press run now. Actually, we're going to stop that real quickly. We actually haven't added them to our creative tab, so we're just going to do set creative tab and then put in our tab tutorial mod down here. And then I'm going to do that. Oops, not container item. So set creative tab, then put in the tutorial mod variable. I'm going to put that onto the end of each one. Save, run, and now they should be added into the game. No, they won't be because I haven't registered them. <laughs> wow. Game registry, register item, and then do this for each one. Should know how to do this. Now your code should look something like this with the game registry down the bottom here. Now we can go ahead and click run, and we'll add the items into the game. Alright, here we go guys. The final moment of truth will go over... Into our tab here, I've just set the item to a golden apple. Boom! There is our tools. There we go, guys. Cheese. Oh my god, that's actually quite awesome. I like it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's test it out real quickly. So, game mode. Uh, survival. Whoa, that's quick. Nice. That is really quick. Remember, this is a pretty OP uh, tool, so you can change the efficiency, um, as stated before, uh, the efficiency, yeah. 
This is cool. I like it. I haven't added tools into the game for ages. The last time I did it was um with my crayfish mod, which was a long time ago. It was my first ever mod I actually created. So, a little bit of trivia there for you. Test out the sword. Quite powerful. Now, I just want to quickly test this out. Um, game mode. Game mode C. I want to get a um, enchanting table and just some bookcases. Because I wanted to see what the enchantability did. It's something to do with enchanting, obviously, because it has the word in it. But I'm not exactly sure what it does. So we'll put that there. Open that up. Stick that in. And... Is there... Is it only got to 26? What? I don't get it. No 30? Hey, right, maybe we... I oh know, we're getting creative. That's weird. I don't get it. It's weird. You guys, just, just play around with that enchantability variable. It might just be different, but yeah, we can enchant all these as well, which is cool. Yeah, it's saying 26 for all of them, which is kind of strange. I don't know. Can't enchant hose. Boom, there we go. That's pretty awesome. I like it. I'm just going to test out this. Whoa, God, it's pretty OP. It's pretty OP, guys. Let's test the hoe. Oh, yeah. Totally OP. And then the pickaxe. Oh, yeah, we got to do this. we got to do this. Oh, yeah. You want to look at me, spider? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Take that, a cheese sword. So that's how you add tools into the game. In the next part, we're going to be adding the crafting recipes. This is part one. This is kind of the hard bit. The second part is just adding the crafting recipes. Um, if you got a good understanding of crafting recipes, you can probably go ahead and do it now. But if you don't, I'm going to be teaching you guys. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually add them. It's quite simple, though. Now, just a quick brief overview of how to add tools. You want to create your um, variables, create this tool material, um, play around with these variables as you like. Uh, the first one is just the name, the second one's the harvest level, the next one's item uses, this one is the efficiency. Um, oh no, that's the, um, let's have a look, efficiency. Yeah, it's the efficiency, this is the damage, and this is the enchantability. You want to initialize them, create your new classes, make sure they extend item pickaxe, item axe, and stuff like that. Unlocalized name, texture names, creative tab, uh, and then register them into the game. It's pretty basic stuff that you guys should already know from previous tutorials. So that ends it off. Make sure you hit that like button just to show you that you're enjoying this series, and I will see you guys for the next one. Bye.